right, good morning, my friends. Welcome to Centering and Strengthening. It's good to be back. It's good to be away. Um, happy to report everybody I was with on the plane wearing their masks. So all that worry I had before I left was unfounded. Thank goodness. Anyway, welcome to Centering and Strengthening, where we do kettlebell today, because we got to get the whole body going. It's been a couple days for me, and I'm dying to do it. So let's breathe it up three times. Take it up and down, and two more up and down, last time up and down, and this is centering and strengthening, so I go inside to side. Come on, eight, seven, six, Brewster's outside, four, in case you wanna know, two, and one, and reach up, reach and turn, reach and turn, yay, you've got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, step left, right knee. Let it go, good job. Remember on the last one, number eight, we hit that quad stretch. That's five, six, seven, and eight. Hold them behind, Ooh, hold them behind, lift yourself up. Nice big stretch through the center, belly button to the spine. Great job, step back, right to left. There we go. And two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, bring it behind, lift it up. Good, 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 reach it up, and step back, wide leg, and we go side to side to side to side, and four, and three, and two, and one, sit behind it, make sure your knee is over your ankle, swing those arms out to the T, rotate toward the bent knee, look up at the hand, make sure the hand is long, don't flap it back. Good, and then take it over to the other side. Same movement. Stretch this leg out, this opposite leg. Come to the center, feel like you're diving through, and then reach yourself out to tabletop. Then bring those feet in, and then soften the knees and curl yourself up. Drop the shoulder blades and go side to side. Here we go, warming up the whole body. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, reach up, reach. Good, you've got it. Nice. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come to the center, roll those shoulders back. Let's make sure we do that because we're gonna be using them a lot. Yeah, and then forward. Breathe it, and always add breath to your last one. Grab the ear from across the head and bring it across. Ooh. Goes mine and bring it up and over. Good. Bring those arms around and open up the chest. Big, big opening. Make sure you're dropping your shoulder blades while you do this. A lot of people reach up while they do this, and that creates a really severe wing right here, which I think is hard on the shoulder. So I keep the arms low and breathe it up three times. Take it up and down. Two more up and down. Last time up and down. Get your heavy weight and then anchor yourself for kettlebell. So the anchoring for kettlebell is feet slightly more than hip width apart, maybe shoulder width apart, and a total, not a total, a tiny turnout. You wanna have a turnout so that you stay in the quad position right here, and you anchor for the whole kettlebell. So the swing is with straight legs. A lot of people do a slight bend. That's not a bad thing, but the one thing you wanna be careful for, to what? with is your back. So you wanna find a position that works for you. So I'm gonna start with the Russian swing. You go under and then right across from the shoulders. You don't go above the shoulders, right? Back and up. We don't count this because this is about both sides getting aligned and strong. One of the great things about kettlebells, talking to my nephew about this actually, he's a gym rat, boy oh boy oh boy. He's a hedge fund manager and the rest of the day he's a gym rat. And uh, telling him that one of the things about kettlebell is it's not only a full body workout, it's a full body workout without pushing into your knees. You're getting a lot of the same things that, quad, uh, that squats do, you keep going, without pushing into your knees because what you wanna do is lift the quad off the knee, right? So it's helping do that without pushing down into it. And then you're getting this nice little cardio moment, right? I feel so good. Keep going, keep those swings going. Yes, keep going, nice. We're gonna bring it into the home stretch here and do something more dedicated. Good, perfect. And last two, 
and last one and take that weight into your hand, rotate your body, push the knee, the leg back, push your knee forward, don't let the knee go over the toe and let's row back for 30 and two and three and four and five, six, you exhale up, seven, exhale up, eight, eyes are down straight to the floor, nine, keep your neck from crunching, 10, 20 more, there'll be a pulse, one, two, straight back, three, four, good job, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20, let's do 10 more, 10, good, nine, eight, get ready for the uh, pulse, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's hit it, 20, 19, 18, 18, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Curl yourself up, position your legs back to that original turnout. Grab the end of your dumbbells, put it over your head, and rotate around your head for 20 in one direction. Two, you're using your obliques. Three, you're not moving any other part of the body. Four, you're completely anchored. Five, just breathe through this six. It doesn't have a power move. Seven, so you do flow breathing. Eight, nine, 10, good, 10, and nine, eight, good job, seven, six, and my nephew uses a 90 pound kettlebell, three, and two, and one. Now turn to the other side, same thing with the legs, and you row, and down, exhale, and inhale, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <clears throat> nine, 10, squeeze, make sure you push that really directly back, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good, nine, that's the knee I can't lean on, 20, good, one, two, three, four, Great. ready for the pause, five, six, seven, eight, nine, let's go, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, bring it up, open back out, let's do another kettlebell sweep, and we'll move on to the next circuit, take it up. Good, good job, woo, beautiful, perfect. And again, mostly, mostly straight legs. My legs are a little too wide, let me bring them in. Good, so you wanna feel it through the glutes, through the back of the legs, through the quads, through the shoulders. Stop that, stop that weight right at your chest. Good, keep going. Let's get breathless, nice. Good job, beautiful, got it. Let's do about 10 more swings. Good, and keep breathing. Good, five more, and four, and three, and two. Last one, let's go to one side. Put those legs parallel. This is a complicated piece, you've done it before. Let's take it very slowly to begin, we squat back. We come up, bringing the weight into it to a bicep position to the side here. The dumbbell head is to the front and to the back. So you start it down, you twist it up. While you're holding it in this position, you squat it down and then you push it all the way through as you come up. So there are two things going on here, half bicep curl to a full military as you do two squats. Let's do 20 on each side with the uh, center in between one. Good, down. Two, great, to the waist, squat to the ceiling, down to the waist, to the squat to the ceiling, down to the waist, good. All right, let's talk about breathing. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, 
exhale, inhale, exhale. I think we're at number six. Good, nice, push up. Number five, good, sit down, push up. Number four, good, sit down, push up. Number three, right here, sit down, push up. Number two, uh, number, I went in the wrong direction. And 10 more. There we go, now we're backwards. Nine, good. Sit down, push up. Eight, nice. Sit down, push up. Seven, right here. Sit down, push up. Six, nice. Down, push up. Five, you got it. Push up. Four, to the waist. Sit down to the ceiling. Three, good. Nice, two, perfect, nice, and one. Good, down and up, parallel, stay parallel. Hold the dumbbell with both hands, elbows at the side, turning the upper body right and left, full upper body, again, it's from the obliques, over, over, two, and three, we're going to 30 here, four, five, six, Seven on your knees, soft. Eight, good job. Nine, 10, 20 more. One, good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20. Good. One, so the hips don't move at all, right? Two, the whole upper body goes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good job, nine, and 30. Now, before we go to the other side, we open our legs to that um, supported kettlebell position. Put your hand on the stem of your um, weight, if you're using a weight, if you're using a kettlebell, on the handle of the kettlebell, horn, and you're going to start with a lunge to one side, taking the, taking the kettlebell back, lift it up, put it in the other hand, take it back. Here we go. Good. Here we go. So this works with weights. It works with kettlebells. When you do kettlebells, you're a little more evenly distributed in this workout. I'm turn my feet up just a little bit more for more of a lunge or more of a support. Here we go. Good. So you're lunging side to side and switching the arm up through the center. Good, there you go. Perfect. Keep breathing. Hey, somebody let you in? Or did you open the door by yourself? You couldn't have opened the door by yourself. Could you have? You wanna play kettlebell? No, there are things swinging in here. I'm getting out. Good job. Nice. Let's do about 20 more. Because we're doing side to side. 18, come on up. 17, you come up. 16, go ahead. 15, or be in the middle. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. This feels good. 8, releasing. 7, getting a lot of back and shoulders. 6, 5, also all the way to the chest. 4, 3, and 2, hoop, and 1. Let's do the snatch and press on the other side. Parallel those feet to, to squat position. Let's do 20. Take it down to the waist. Take it down to the ceiling. Down to the waist. Down, that's two. Down to the waist. Up, down, and up, that's three. Down to the waist. Down, that's four. Down to the waist. Down, that's five. Down to the waist. Down, that's six. Down to the waist. Down, that's seven. Down to the waist, down, push eight. Down to the waist, down, that's nine. You've got it, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, 10 coming down. Good, we're on nine. Good, nine descending. Eight, right here. Eight descending. Seven, push, you got it. Five, you got it. Nice. 
four, good, push, good, three, nice, push, good, two, perfect, push, good, and one, nice, let's hit that swing again, same one, so take it out, you're going to start with the arm back, your hands on the stem, into that lunge, lift, and go, good, nice, we're just going to keep going, perfect, you've got it, ha. right here to the center, don't turn your chest to the side, it goes right to the center, right, Right, lunge, and lunge, and lunge. Good, you got it. Keep breathing. This is one where you're really gonna get a little cardio. We're only 17 minutes in, and we're already feeling very well worked out. Good, 10 more, and nine. Those comp to set to this time. Eight, good, seven, Six, nice, five, four, good job, three, sit behind it, good, two, nice, and one, put those legs open but forward, come down into a squat, we do the circle around the front of one leg, and back of the other, around and around, two, eyes down, three, Keep that neck unfurled, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and now you reverse it, one, two, good, <clears throat> three, nice, four, Five, six, good job. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring it back up. Go back to kettle bell, uh, kettle bell position. This time you're going to switch hands <coughs> going through the center without the lunge. All right, hold it on the stem. Take it under your leg. Right here, lift, hand it to the other arm and lift, and lift, right here through the center. So what this does, it gets more of your deltoid into the kettlebell swing. So this gets a focus, it's pulling it to the word the center. You can feel the back of the shoulder coming toward the center, right? <clears throat> Good job. Nice. Keep going. You've got it. Push, my ring turned around, so it's stabbing me in the palm. Good, keep going. <clears throat> yes, perfect. Yes, nice job. A thousand more. Okay, not a thousand. <clears throat> 20, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, bring it all the way up, and one. Legs together, knees soft. Take the weight up behind your uh, shoulder, push up, and one. Exhale up, inhale down, two, three. You gotta be soft in the front. Four, if you can't keep soft, uh, straddle the legs. Five, six, this is going for 30. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 20 more, one, two, three, good job, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, get ready for the pulse after the next 10, keep your head over your tailbone, so some people tend kind of move their head forward to make room for the weight. You can still keep your head over the tailbone, six, and not bonk, bonk, bonk yourself in the head. Five, four, three, two, pulse it down there, 20, 
19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Push it up. Go back to kettlebell position. We're going to do that swing we just did where we trade hands. Make sure you're turned out a little bit. Make sure you're at least shoulder width apart, but not too far. All right, let's reach under. Okay, let's go. And we'll hit the other side. Nice, let's do this. So kettlebell has lots of variety, but it's always hitting most of your body, not in specific, but it's like, good, keep going. It's like doing a hard day's work because you're kind of lifting your hay up onto the, onto the wagon or something like that, where you're moving your legs and your back and your arms together. And the core, of course, is always a part of this. So we're gonna do about 20 more, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, <clears throat> back to, you can, you can straddle, back to the dumbbell, uh, tricep press one now if you need to steady your arm just bring your other arm across too because you don't want to move anything else three you want to just push from the elbow four five your prime movers your tricep six, good seven nice eight exhale up nine ten twenty more one two Stay centered, don't fall back on that back toe. Four, if you feel like you are, come on, or foot, come on to your toe. Seven, eight, nine, <clears throat> 20, 10 more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, go back to the original swing from the beginning. So we're back to the rushing swing. So toes are out to the side, shoulder blades are down. You're almost a shoulder width apart. You're not extremely out to the side, right? Just said anchoring. So let's do a bunch of these. We're gonna keep working that upper body along with this big lower body work. Good, push. You've got it again, find the place where your back is comfortable. So if that means a full bend over, which probably won't, because that's an extreme stretch, or halfway. So it just needed some water. Keep going. <clears throat> yes. Talking a mile, 100 miles a minute. Good. Perfect. Nice. Good. 10 more. 10, 9, <clears throat> 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one. All right, soften your knees. Well, let's step, let's stagger again. Put the elbow at the side, push, and one. Push, so this is bicep and tricep, three, and four, it's pretty hard. You might go to a lighter weight, five, or try it with this weight, six, for as much as you can, and then go to the lighter weight after your uh, muscles are exhausted. It's eight, nine, 10, 20 more. One, so if you have a kettlebell, two, hold it by the, the bell and the horn. So you have your four, you have your hand around the bell and your thumb around the horns. Five, six, seven, eight, good job, nine, 20, 10 more, and we're gonna pulse backwards. One, two, exhale out. Always exhale out. Three, four, five, six, seven. Keep your body centered. Again, you could be on your toe. Eight, nine, and then bring it back. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, stop, two in your paw. Seven, six, hey. Rooster, five, stop, two in your paw, four, three, I'm home, two, and one. Come back to the kettlebell swing right here. Let's go. Swing, 
and swing, good boy. Swing, grab back at the original, make sure your feet are slightly turned out, come on. You're gonna get a nice, strong behind by doing this, if you did every day forever, <clears throat> not just today, <laughs> if you do a lot. Good, 20 more, 20, <clears throat> 19, 18, 17, <clears throat> 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Here we go. Again, you want to soften that leg. Let's push it. 1, 2, Three, so I am on my toes, so I stayed center. Four, five, exhale out. Six, it's up to you. Seven, but you gotta make sure you're protecting your back. Eight, so you feel your back. Nine, 10, one, two, three, four. So you don't want the elbow to drop below the arm. Five, keep going. Six, seven, eight, good job. Nine, 20, 10 more, 10, and you don't have to be on just a little late in the game to say this, straining your arm all the way out. Nine, eight, seven, six, the push off is the work. Five, four, three, two, and one, pulse so it back, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's open. And we're gonna swing side to side. So this time I like to hold the stem over and up, over and up. There we go, back to that lunge. So keep getting that bottom work, right? So right here, it's almost like doing one-legged lunges because you're sitting back on one side and stretching on the other. It's not doing the lunge, right? Good. And we're gonna pulse on each side at the end of this. So we get that really great push. Good job. Nice. Perfect. Beautiful. Go. You got it. Perfect. Let's do 10 more. 10 sets. All right. And nine. Stay centered with the upper body. And eight. Sit down into it. Good. And seven. Six. Breathing, five, you breathe in flow, and four. If you need some instruction, when you bring the weight up, that could be your exhale. It doesn't matter because this is all cardio. Last two, good, and last one, good. We come back over to the first side, and we pulse back. Good, I want two sets of 20. 20, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, push it, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, or that's thirty, and last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. A moment for you to be static, right? Come over to the other side, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, eyes are down, so your eyes are straight down, you're not uh, moving your head in one direction or the other. 20 more, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring yourself up, bring your legs closer, straddle them, the leg that's back, get on your toe, uh, arms in front, curl, and 1. Curl, so it's exhale up, right? So you take it to the three quarters position, but you bring it all the way down. So that the work where you gather it up, you're doing that work. Five, no six, seven, going for 30 with a 20 pulse. Eight, good job. Nine, 10, 20 more. 
One, keep breathing. Exhale up, two, three, good. Four, five, nice. Six, seven, so this should be getting a little heavy if you have the right weight, eight, and nine, and 10. Last 10, 10, good job. Nine, keep going. Eight, nice. Seven, six, this goes back. Five, four, good job. Three, nice. Two, let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and lower it down. All right, kettlebell back to the, the, uh, the <coughs> changing hands through the center. Turn out those feet. Make sure you get into position every time. Grabbing the stem, bring it under, lift up. Good, nice, you got it. <sighs> breathing is good. I want you to breathe, I'm all in favor of breathing. Good, you got it, good, keep going. <sighs> This is our last one up here. So we're going to take the, after the next bicep curl, we're going to take it down to the mat. There'll be no more swinging. Sorry. Last 10, 10, both sides. Nine, eight, I'm not turned out enough, so I'm hitting myself. Seven, six, five, four, good job. And three, and two, actually I need to bring it in more, and one. All right, last upper body standing exercise. Curl and one, you're back on your toe. On this side, two, three, four. Exhale up, inhale down, six, seven. I keep my hand on my hip to parallel my shoulders. 10, 20 more, long wrist. Don't over squeeze the weight. Two, all the way down. Three, four, five, six, nice. Seven, you got it. Eight, nice. Nine, good job. Ten, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lower that down. We're going to do some shaking out and stretching out of the body before we take it all the way down. So what I'd like you to do is soften your knees in the center and just do a circle with your chest. So that takes the back and the chest into consideration. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Reverse it. One, two. Now, if you can't do a circle, do side to side. That doesn't get the back as much. Three, four, but we want that isolation. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bring the hands together, flip them out, push through. Good. Take them overhead and release them down. You wanna take one leg forward and stretch all the way back into your lunge, push through. There we go. And then straighten back so you get the hamstring. We do so much hamstring. That'll come into the stretch. Slide those legs together, go out to the other side. I do a lot of yoga when I'm traveling. I've been lunging a lot. Good, not with weights, but trying to get my whole body just to stay stretched. Good, nice. All right, let's put our mats on the floor and make sure you don't pick up your kettlebell until you're in position or your weight, whatever you're using. And they keep meaning to buy kettlebells. I look at them at uh, J Max and stuff. They're always carrying a hand basket and I don't want to my hand basket. All right, <laughs> make sure you're sitting at the end with it. You bring yourself all the way down. You lift your glutes, take them down the mat, wiggle your upper body up the mat. <sighs> nice belly button to the spine. We're gonna do lats to begin. 
So what that means is we have to take our legs up to tabletop so our back is protected. You hold the kettlebell by the, horn, by the bell with your thumb wrapped around the horns or you hold the ends of your big dumbbell. <clears throat> We're gonna do two sets of 20 lats. You're going to inhale here as you lower, exhale as you bring it up above your chest. And at 20, we have to switch the position of our feet. Three, exhale up. Arms stay long, stay long, four. That makes the leverage five for the upper chest and for the lat, six, nice. Seven, eight, nine. This will feel light at first. 10, because we always double our weights for this. One, but I want you to go nice and slow and really adhere to form, two. And then we're doing enough of them, three, that you should feel some impact. And there'll be a lot of impact, four, if you stop, pause at every position. So you pause at the bottom, five, before you bring it up, six. Seven is your belly button to the spine. Eight, that protects your back. Nine. And 10, switch your ankles. One, pull it up. Two, pull it up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30. Let's do 10 more like this. One, then we're going to move on to something else in the same position. Two, you can also do one leg up like this. Three, but make sure you cross them. Four, five, <clears throat> and recross them to keep your pelvis even. Six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, bring the elbows down beside your waist. You can put your legs down or keep them up. If you have back concerns, keep them both or one up. Now we're going to do a push off from the waist, <clears throat> two for 20 two of 20, and then we're going to do a combination of those two positions. So when we get the combination, our legs are definitely going to be up. If your feet are down, make sure they're in front of your knees. All right, push up, and one. Exhale, and two. Waist, three. And you don't have to extend your arm all the way, four. Now, what I'd like you to do, five, is make sure you're on the back of your head. Sometimes people let their six, their chin drift up, push that chin down. Seven, good. Eight, Nine, it's going to be deep, two sets of 20, 10, and the pulse will be down, one, good, two, push, three, nice, four, five, six, seven, eight, good job, nine, and 20, cross your legs the other way if you haven't crossed, one, two, three, Four, hi buddy, you okay? Five, come here, and talk to you. Six, come on, help people. Seven, they need your help. Go ahead up on the couch. Eight, yes, nine, and 30, last 10. One, you okay? Two, you Mr. Mommy? Three, thanks for the kisses. Four, five, six, seven, good job. Eight, nine, now we're gonna bring it down and pulse it, hovering above our mat, 20, 19, 18. You'll feel this in your shoulder, 17, 16. So you're probably saying to me, I feel all this shoulder and you always try to call it tricep. It's using all that. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let's put one leg up. All right, push up, exhale, lower, inhale, push up, exhale, lower, inhale. Push, and that's number two. This is going to be 30 set. Three, nice. Four, so you've got that kettlebell. You've got to really stabilize it, so make sure you're holding the bell with your thumbs around the horns. Five, good. I know this fancy language, six, because I've got a certification in kettlebell funny, right? Seven, 
I got certification a lot of equipment eight because I always wanted to know how to direct people properly nine to use it ten I got five more here one two three four good Five, switch your legs. Six, did you switch your legs? Nice. Seven, good. Are you pausing enough in the back? Eight, pause, pause, pause. Nine, good, hit those spots. And 10, last 10. I think I miss, messed up somewhere. 10, good. No, that was right. Nine, make sure your chin is still knotted down. Eight, seven, good, six, good, last five, nice, and four, and three, and two, and one, good. Now you're going to curl yourself up. Right here, that felt so good. <clears throat> and put the weight over your or the kettlebell. And let's go back a little bit. The kettlebell over your eyes, not over your head. You know, your your rotator cuff squeezes up that way, right? And we're gonna come down and one. Elbow at the side, two, three. Now here's the deal: four. This is a hard exercise, five. If you can only do one leg at a time, six. That's fine, seven, so you do what you want, like eight, nine, right, 10, or you can just do the upper body. The upper body is the big part. One, two, come on, three, good. Again, not straighten all the way out, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20, good. One, <clears throat> two, Three, we're coming into the home stretch. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Nine and 30. Lower yourself down. Take a nice deep breath right here. Keep those feet where they are. And we're gonna do a halfway curl up. So put the kettlebell behind you, but not all the way down. Again, I don't wanna pull those rotator cuffs too far. You're gonna curl to your inhale, push up to your exhale, and down. And two, good, and down. And three, keep going, down. No, I could be going too fast. Four, so you could slow it down and get fewer done. Good, and five, I'm fast anyway, I realize that. But kettlebell gets my adrenal up six, so I know that I find it hard to slow down. Seven, come on, <clears throat> so let's do. The breathing, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, eight, good, nine, 10, 10 more, one, good, two, and then we're gonna stay up there, three, four, good, five, good, six, seven, eight, nine and 20 so you stay here now if you need something under your tailbone it's a good time to get it elbows at the side push out and in two so it's an exhale exhale and inhale three four five come on six you've got it i know you're catching your breath from that last seven that's okay eight nine ten ten more one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Nice. We're going to roll on to our side and release that kettlebell. You're going to come on over to your legs and sit back into child pose. I'm going to come around to the other side.
Okay, sit back and take a nice deep breath and raise it. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, you want to do plank? Oh, yeah, you do? Go ahead up. There we go. All right. So to finish out, we're going to go from this really active work to planking. So we're going to bring our bodies down. But I want you to use all that energy that you have popping around in your body right now to, to stabilize your plank. So what I'd like to do is start with a minute long center plank, your hand under your shoulders. Slide one leg out to flex, the other leg out to flex, your eyes look straight down, and here's your minute of the clock. Oh, perfect. All right, make sure you breathe. You don't hold your breath. While you're holding the plank, the belly buttons to the spine. Good, nice. So the way my uh, sister and my brother's friend surprised my brother was uh, my brother's friend lives next door to one of his closest friends. And the close friend had him over for a cocktail party. And we gathered next door, you're halfway there. We gathered next door. And at a specific time, we were told to go out on the deck. So we went out on the deck and we're sitting there with our backs to his neighbor, he can't see us. And he's out there, he comes out and he's having a drink. And then um, Helen, his friend over there says, oh, look how nice Kathy's bush is, is blossoming. And he turns around and we stand on, jump up and wave. He almost admitted, he started crying actually. That would be my brother. Oh, we did more than a minute, sit back into childhood. Take a nice deep breath. I want you to bring it down. And again. Now we're going to come into a side plank. So I want to show you, if you're not a side planker, this is your modification. So you can come do that modification. For those of you who like to do side planks, your long arms, bent arms, you can do staggered legs, stacked legs, staggered legs, stacked legs. We're just going to do these for 30 seconds, so they won't be as long, but it's good for you to get all the practice of these sides that you can. So lift yourself up. Can we get the 30? Okay, and hold it right there. Make sure you have a nice tight lift. I'm not exactly aligned, so my elbow's in the wrong place. Okay, and hold it right there. It probably looks crooked to you because my mat's in the diagonal. All right, keep going. And we have five more seconds. It's not so bad. And lower it down. Bring your legs to the center, stretch forward. And we're gonna go to the other side. Take a nice deep breath. And again, let's do that side plank on the other side. <clears throat> do better than I did with your alignment here. I looked at myself in the screen and I wasn't looking straight up. All right, stacked, staggered, supported, right? Bring yourself up and hold. Okay, I got it. It's hard for me to look at the clock from this position. Good, hold it up there, hold it up there, hold it up there. Nice, so you want the lift to come all the way from your feet to your elbows. Sometimes our calves are down and we're getting supported with our calves and that's okay. But you wanna keep thinking, I can lift, I can lift, I can lift, I can lift this body. You only have five, six, four, three, two, and one, and reach forward. <laughs> Good. So now we're going to go into our stretch. And we're going to start here. Let's start with seated, seated butterfly. Come back a little bit up to close to the camera. Seated butterfly right here. So I want you to open that butterfly a little bit. Don't have the heels all the way to the, to the middle. You want to have it out a little bit. So I like to measure from my glutes at the edge of the mat to my ankles at the front of the mat. And that's how I get a good seated butterfly. And then Lower your chest. This is a straight down hinge. This isn't a curl down. So the curl down will go like this. A hinge goes from the hips and it goes like this. Now the difference between the hinge and the curl down in terms of effect of the stretch, this really, really focuses on bringing those legs into stretch by hinging into this flat forward. And the roll down takes your back into that curl 
and emphasizes more of the hips. So you want to know what you need at the time you need it. And then inhale to prepare and exhale, bring it up. Take one leg in the middle, the other leg straight forward into a flex. Lift your body over the top. We're gonna to go into spinal twist first. A big inhale and exhale and rotate head and shoulder tracks. You're spiraling upwards, get a nice opening in that chest. As it comes to the side, it should be getting open, not closed. You're lifting it out of your lumbar. You give three breaths back here. Make sure your shoulders in your shoulder socket, your hand is close to your glutes. Another breath. And then inhale to prepare and exhale. Come back to center and roll your shoulders back. We did a lot of shoulders and roll your shoulders forward. Now keeping this foot flex, you're gonna come to the center. Your chest is coming to center. So it's not landing on the leg. It's kind of beside the leg, but down the center. So it's really important to get your hamstring here. We did, all the kettlebells are powered from behind. So I want you to inhale up and exhale down. All right, put the hand inside the uh, instep and bring the arm overhead. Yeah. And then lift your body up and lower it down. You're on the leg now. So you're getting the other hip and you're still working on that hamstring. Shoulders down, my friends. Now you're gonna slide up as if it was a curl down. Drop the shoulders one more time. All right, let's go to the other side. Same thing, you're flexing that foot. Put your leg where it's tolerable. You don't wanna bring it all the way in if it's crushing your knee, right? So lift up and let's go into that spinal twist. Big inhale and exhale, let's take it around. Breathe into it. And again. I didn't record this. Oh yeah, I did. And last side. And inhale to prepare and bring it back in. We're going down the center. I really want to make sure that we pay a lot of attention to the back since we use it in our swings and overhead to the side here. Make sure your arm's soft. If you open it up, you're not going to get any flexibility. And then lift up and just center it down. And cool yourself up. Let's focus on the back now. <clears throat> All right, hands under the shoulders. Knees under the hips. We're going to start with cat cow. Inhale, bottom and chin up. Exhale, curl up like a cat. Keep doing that. Just go through flows of it. Go through flows of it. Don't stop. Have little pauses in each position, but I want you to actually put your back into a mobilization here. So get some energy back. All right, hold the cat. Go to neutral. Reach one arm up. Slide it under. Let's get that shoulder to you're bending the other elbow. Breathe into it. Your glutes stay anchored. They're pushing toward the ceiling. Inhale to prepare and exhale. Bring it back up. Inhale the other one up and exhale. Bring it under. Took me a long time. I know this is super simple to get this precise because I keep wanting to straighten out the opposite arm. I kept wanting to do all kinds of different things, but finally I figured out it was really simple and I was overcomplicating it. Inhale and exhale and bring it back. Sit back into child pose one more time. Let's put our toes together and our knees apart. That'll give us more flexibility in our hips. Then take your feet to parallel, put your hands under your shoulders, Flip those toes under and push yourself into downward facing dog. One knee forward, the other heel down. Get that stretch. 
and then swing it, flip it, change it. Push through your hands a lot so you get a lot of that upper body stretch. Walk those legs in, let yourself rag those stretch. Soften your knees and curl yourself up. We are back here in the middle. Open those legs, drop those shoulders down. Let's do washing chair. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come to the center, breathe up and down. Two more up and down. And last time, thank you everybody for coming, centering and strengthening the